Usually, turkeys don't celebrate Thanksgiving. They'd rather forget about it. And they'd rather you forgot about it, too. This tall tale, the tall tale, tells how eight school children on a field trip, their teacher, a turkey farmer named Mac Nugget, and gobblers, Ollie, Stanley, Larry, Moe, Wally, Beaver, Shimp, and Groucho share in a Thanksgiving all can remember vividly. Hmm, I wonder what that's all about. Well, let's find out when we read Twas the Night Before Thanksgiving. Story and Pictures by Dave Pilkey. Twas the night before Thanksgiving, and all through the trees, the fall leaves were spinning aloft in the breeze. Eight children had boarded their school bus with grins in hopes that a field trip soon would begin. They sang as they rode through autumn terrains while visions of drumsticks danced in their brains. O'er rivers through woods with winding and weaves, their school bus sailed on through the new fallen leaves. When out on the road there arose such a clatter, they threw down their windows to see what was the matter. When what, with their wondering eyes, should they see but a miniature farm and eight tiny turkey. And a little old man, so lively and rugged, they knew in a moment it was Farmer McNugget. He was dressed in all denim from his head to his toe, with a pinch of polyester and a dash of Velcro. And then in a twinkling they heard in the straw the prancing and pawing of each little claw. More rapid than chickens, his cockerels they came. He whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Ollie, now Stanley, now Larry and Mo, on Wally, on Beaver, on Chip and Groucho. The turkeys were chunky with smiling beak faces and they greeted the children with downy embraces. So out through the barnyard they ran and they flew, and they gobbled and giggled as friends sometimes do. Then somebody spotted an ax by the door, and she asked Farmer Nugget what it was for. With a blink of his eye and a twist of his head, the old farmer told a grim tale of dread. Tonight, said Mac Nugget, these feathery beasts will be chopped up and roasted for Thanksgiving feast. The children stood still as tears filled their eyes. Then they clamored aloud in a chorus of cries. Oh dear, cried Mac Nugget, now what shall I do? So he dashed to the well, and the teacher went too. And they fetched some water fresh from the ground in hopes that a swig might calm everyone down. And when they returned to quiet the matter, the children were calmer and mysteriously fatter. The boys and girls drank up their drinks in the hay then thanked old Mac Nugget and waddled away. They limped to the school bus, all huffing and puffing. It's not easy to walk with hot turkey stuffing. And then as the school bus drove off in the night, Mac Nugget looked round, not a turkey in sight. Twas the night before Thanksgiving, and the stars up above shone down on a school bus abounding with love. 
The very next evening, eight families were blessed with eight fluffy Thanksgiving turkeys as guests. They feasted on veggies with jelly and toast, and everyone was thankful, the turkeys the most. So each one gave thanks for love and for living, and they all had a wonderful, happy Thanksgiving. Hello friends, what a wonderful story about Thanksgiving. I hope you have a great Thanksgiving this year. If you like this book, I have many others. If you'll just come take a look at my channel, Storytime with Lorelei. When you subscribe, you get to see all the new books that come out. Please click like and then share this video with all of your friends. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.